Hello, hi. So today I'm going to talk about question someone asked me um, how important it is to have a college degree or, uh, or you know undergrad or postgrad degree from an elite university in order to get into finance, right? Well, it depends on a number of things like which country, which uh, area of finance, and so on and so forth. So I'm going to talk about it um, in, in detail. So if you're worried about uh, the fact that you haven't, you know, you haven't been to, you know, elite universities for your undergrad or masters, uh, whether you still can find opportunities in the field of finance or not. That's something I'm going to discuss. Um, okay, I like to be um, very honest about it, actually. You know, in some areas of finance, yes, it is important to have uh you know a degree from elite university for instance if you really want to work in uh, you know venture capital or private equities uh then yes you need to have uh, you know degrees from top universities right in india you need to have degrees from the iims even within the iims you have to be from the top iims um in uh, europe you need to be from london business school or from NCIT. Or in the US, you go to from Harvard Business School, Stanford Business School, and Wharton, and so on. So yes, if you want to work in those places like the PE firms and the VC firms, uh, or in some of the elite family offices, yes, you need to have degrees from uh, top-end universities. However, in many other areas of finance, you don't need to have uh, that sort of a qualification. For instance, if you want to work uh, in the banking space, right? Even the good banking space, like the top you know the top notch banks right you do not need to have degrees from top uh, you know business schools or tip top universities for some of these uh, profiles yes for instance if you are into you know sales profile if you are into investment banking yes you need to have you know um, it, it does help to have uh, you know degrees from top universities especially a business degree um, but um, except for these you know few roles um, you don't need you know, um, uh, you, don't, you don't need degrees from top universities. In fact, in, in Europe, even for investment banking, you don't need to have a degree from top university. Well, in Europe, people don't make distinction between uh, the rankings of the universities, right? They don't care about whether the university ranks at the top 20 or top 50, top 100. You know, they don't care much. As long as you have a relevant qualification, they're fine with this. London may be a bit exception, uh, you know, that some people do care about <coughs> having a degree from Oxbridge University, like Oxford and Cambridge, or London School of Economics, uh, Imperial College, you know, these places. But uh, in the rest of the Europe, for instance, in, the, in France or in Germany, in Netherlands, in Switzerland, uh, people don't care much about the, you know, the ranking of the university. Um, in fact, most of the Indian universities rank lower than the European university. You know, here in Netherlands, um, yeah, even even the worst university are ranked higher than our IITs and uh, and other central universities. So, um, but despite that, many Indians who do not have any qualification from European university, they're just still doing quite well in in the European uh, banking system. Uh, and many of them are actually have reached to you know very high ranking officials some of the chief of risk officers some of the chief uh, you know compliance officers audit officer uh, and some of these you know head of the departments i've worked with many of them are actually um, you know from less developed countries such as india or, or, or like south africa and brazil and argentina these places so, and obviously you know the university in those places are not that highly ranked compared to the european university but still uh, you, you can you know go off the ladder uh, it's it's not that too difficult actually uh, if you're willing to put in effort so um to answer question uh, yes in some areas uh, it's nice to have a qualification from a top university but in many areas of finance especially uh, in uh, more support functions such as risk and and quant finance and and compliance and audit and it you don't need to have qualifications from top universities right even for front office roles in europe you don't need to have qualifications from top universities right i've also seen that in some other places for instance in the us 
uh, in many banks, even for uh, front office roles, uh, people from you know community colleges also uh, easily get jobs there. Um, that's a bit difficult in India. Uh, rarely you will find somebody working as an investment banker in JP Morgan who is not either from a top IIM or a top IIT. Right? Uh, there are exceptions, but um, I see some chartered accountants working. Uh, there, uh, as investment banker, uh, maybe a few, not many. But that's um, a bit more difficult in India because the competition is a lot more there, right? So in order to filter people, obviously, you know, companies prefer going to the top business schools and hence you see only guys from top, you know, engineering schools and business schools working there. But on quant finance area, that's not the case. The, many people have this perception that only, you know, IIT graduates are getting uh, opportunities in quant finance. Certainly in some trading <coughs> companies, especially the global trading companies, but beyond that, that's not true. You know, there are many students from central universities, you know, which are not uh, on the level of IIT, at least many people think so, although I don't think so. Many central universities are as good as the IITs are. And, and, and uh, you know, I, I know many people from central university, they're, they're working in, um, you know, top, top end uh, uh, in banking and insurance firms as quants, as risk managers, as compliance officers. Right, uh, very highly uh, lucrative, uh, you know, um, job profile. Um, so it, it's nothing like it, it's much worse than uh, uh, having a front office role. In fact, many people I work with uh, in Europe, they have previously worked as investment banker, as wealth manager, as, uh, you know, front office sales people, uh, bond traders and so on and so forth. And later on, they decided, they decided to work in the support function. So normally there is a perception that to work in support function, uh, you are more like working in back office of finance. It's not always the case, right? Sometimes the, you know, the jobs um, in support functions can be more lucrative compared to the ones in the front office, right? So even if you don't get a chance to work in the front office, just because you don't have a uh, qualification from an elite university, you could still explore many other areas where, you know, your qualification, your educational qualification, especially the name of the university won't ma uh, matter much, right? Um, having said that, it also depends on, 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 the, uh, on the country you are applying at. But instance, in India, it matters a bit in, in many places, uh, um, especially uh, if you have some hiring managers. Uh, it's very unfortunate that, uh, you know, there, there are so many hiring managers who are too particular about that okay, that guy must be from a top university. I see many hiring managers or HR professionals putting on LinkedIn that okay, we only hire from tier one university, tier one colleges, tier one engineering universities. Uh, it's very unfortunate uh, that you have tiering in India um, because I have I found highly smart people even from tier three uh, places because in order to get into tier three colleges in India, especially the government colleges, the public colleges, you really need to work really, really hard. Uh, you know, for instance, some of these uh, colleges in Delhi University or some of these engineering colleges at state level, in order to get into those places, you need to be like in the top three or four, five percent, right, in, in, your, uh, in your area, right? And that's quite tough actually, right? Uh, I mean, such a student can easily get into a top-ranking university in Europe, right? That's quite easy, right? So, uh, so to say that, you know, these people in India from tier 3 colleges, university are not good enough and then hence they cannot get opportunity in the field of uh, finance is actually not uh, correct thing. That mentality is changing a lot, uh, I see. Uh, when I was uh, entering in the field more than a decade back, Things were even more tough, but I think things have changed quite dramatically over the last, you know, maybe eight to ten years. Um, so, which is a good development, and it's only good going to get better over time. Uh, simply because I think after a while, the degree don't matter much. Uh, what matters really matters is your your level of experience, your knowledge, your attitude, your work ethics, and so on and so forth. Uh, one important thing I would like to mention is that, uh, you know, if you are uh, experienced professionals, then your, um, your, your, your degrees don't matter much in many areas of finance, including the ones in front office and so on and so forth, right? Um, um, I'll also like to add one more thing is that I mentioned initially that, you know, in venture capital, you know, you know in, in 
private equity you know you don't see many people from uh, not so elite universities that's uh, not always the case also in some uh, instances there are some exceptions where you know people have managed to get jobs even in those places which are meant to be only for people from elite, elite universities uh, that can indeed happen if you have you know let's say good experience imagine you come to europe and you work for a top end wealth management firm uh, or a private equity here here there is no such feeling as such whether you have you are from a top elite university or not you get some experience and you move back to india right it's very unlikely that a private equity firm or a vc firm or a wealth management firm will ignore you right uh, even though you may not be from top iim that's still fine you'll still uh, find a job there that shouldn't be a problem right so it depends on a, no a number of things just to conclude for a lot of the technical jobs uh, your university qualification matters much much less but more for the front office sales you know um, uh, you know people who who are hired for uh, smooth talking uh, yes you need to have uh, you know degrees from elite university uh, but there are also exception right there are also you know it's not like it, it's a you know there is a huge entry barrier yes there is but uh, not i mean uh, you still have some chances even for those front office roles right um thanks for watching and let me know if you have uh, any question in the comment section and as always thanks for watching see you in another video guys and uh, just to make an announcement, I'm going to, uh, you know, organize a conference uh, on quant finance later this year. If you're interested, please enroll for it. I will share the details uh, later in a video. And if you are interested, uh, if you genuinely like finance or quant finance, or for that matters, any finance, uh, you will find the conference quite, quite useful. There will be speakers from uh, various part of the world, uh, from various different fields in the field of finance and uh, it will be a great experience for you so please join and please also spread the word with uh, people in your network thanks guys see you next time